Are East Africans more related to Sub-Saharan Africans or are they more related to Europeans? Now, since I made the video about are East Africans black, this seems to have sparked a lot of controversy. The video went very well. It did about like, I think it's at 40K views at the time of this recording. And bro, it was like 900 comments and 1000 likes. So like a lot of people, a lot of, got a lot of people talking and it really helped the channel. But to answer the question, bro, to answer the question, it's, it's not very difficult. Really, it, 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 it's the fact they're, they're mixed people. That's the, like this, this the, that's the thing that people have to understand. And then on top of that, there's also the fact that black isn't, it doesn't equal Bantu, it doesn't equal West African, specifically the black or Sub-Saharan that they're most likely or most closely related to, right? The Sub-Saharan component in their genes is most related to an Nilot the Nilotic people. So these would be your populations of Southern Sudan, Central Sudan, like the Nubas of like the Southern Kordofan and you know, um, so on and so forth, you know? And so I say all of that to say this, whether a specific population of Horn Africa, so we're basically talking Kushiti people. So think of people like the Somalis, the Nubians would fall under this group, although linguistically they are Nilo Saharan. Genetically, they would fall under like a more Kushitic, um, with a couple of differences, obviously. And then your Oromos, like of Ethiopia, your Habishas, they're kind of Semitic. And um, yeah, and like your, your, your Tutsis and etc. Now, whether they're more related to like a Sub Saharan, Nilotic, or a Bantu, or a West African, compared with even, let's say, a European, for example. It depends on how Eurasians shifted um, these people are. And so when you look at the Somali population, for example, who are kind of a good example of like a pure Kushiti, their DNA is mostly just what you would call proto nilotic It's what we call that on the internet spaces or early prehistoric nilotic populations. Um, sometimes very minor motor admixture. You, you generally won't find too many Somalis with a motor admixture. And then the rest is just Levantine Natufian. It's usually like somewhere around like a 60-40 split. You would see that they're more related to Sub-Saharan populations like the Nilotic people, maybe even a West African, a Bantu. They'd be more related to them than they would be to a European, for example. But if you look at a Nubian, who generally have the split the other way around, they, they generally average somewhere like 50, between 40 to 50% Nilotic related DNA. And then the rest is um, Eurasian ancestry split between Levant Natufian, Neolithic Levant, and um, Neolithic Iran. You see, they consistently are more related. They would be more related to a European than they would be to a Nilotic person or any other sub-Saharan, even though they don't really have any European DNA and they have nilotic DNA. So I guess this really just tells us a lot about, you know, genetics, especially Africans. It tells us a lot about Africa from a genetic perspective. It really shows you how, you know, um, these things are kind of just complex. And so, you know, there's no, there's no one size fits all in genetics, especially when we're talking about race, which some people would label or call, kind of uh, label it as a loose concept. It depends on whether the people are more Eurasian shifted or African shifted. Now there are, are some exceptions because there are other Eurasian populations who are kind of, who are mixed with Sub-Saharan. So they would obviously cluster closer to these Kushiti populations than some other Sub-Saharan would. But I guess you can see, like get the general gist of it, the general idea of it. We like these types of videos. If you like these type of videos, make sure, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with any future videos and uploads. Um, you can also join my Discord community if you want to talk with me one-on-one. -on -one. And pretty soon I'm going to be making an email newsletter where you can look at all my research with these genetics things and archaeology and 
uh, just learning and rediscovering ancient Africa, you know. So if these things uh, interest you, um, be sure to check them out. Um, links to everything in the subscription or description, whatever you know, down below. <laughs> uh, just being a YouTuber, man, support me.